I think this is a good place to start. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Working in Multiple Dimensions, Part 41, Sweet. In today's episode, we continued working on poise, and you just heard the ending phrase. We completed the overall structure of it. We added uh, backbone lines. We talked about in the last stream this backbone line here to the fast arcs, the slower fourth arc we extended, and um, the intermezzo arc we extended. We also now are up to four separate tempos, so our dimension of tempo, which is one of our ideas of multidimensional computing within a part, is, is here. So we are definitely, uh, f at least for poise, up to four tempo changes tempos with all their associated changes. So that's giving us definite multi-dimension. Uh, we have no timbre changes, so we'll be counting that eventually. We also did a first pass line diagram, which we mean a post-it note. And basically we have 270 seconds of material, which is about four minutes and a half. And um, we double checked that everything, every identifiable separate section with a different feel is within the 50 second rule of thumb that we've come up with in these series to keep something interesting, but still long enough to keep interest, but not be so long as to lose interest. So what we're going to do for you is play the whole composition and that'll bring us home. And here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. We are chuffed and pleased that we have a whole structure in place now. And we use the metaphor that we've used in other streams of um, the skeleton, the muscle, and the skin. In other words, if you look at your arm, you've got bone structure in the very middle of it. Then you've got muscles around it, and then you've got the skin. So the structure here is the bone right now. Uh, and uh, you could this, this lower layer is kind of the bone, but so is this upper layer where we kind of annotate things. Another interesting thing we feel is, you know, I'd say, where's the harmony? Where's the harmony? I don't see any, you know, three note chords, except briefly at the beginning and at the intermezzo. And then we talk about, this is, this is what we call horizontal harmony or fast harmony. In other words, um, when something goes fast, like this one, dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum, dum -dum, we're at our brain, there's a little bit of latency, so we're hearing those notes overlay each other. For example, this is a, that's the chord. Ba -da -da. So there's plenty of harmony in here. It's just we've chosen to stretch it horizontally. Uh, and then only a few places like here do we have what we call vertical harmony. And here. Right now those are the only three note chords we've got in the piece. Our ideas for next time are to continue working with poise, fine tuning it. We uh, probably going to need to make the line diagram energy chart, which means take this and put it into a spreadsheet more formally. We started to work with our arc part labeling, like arc 1C, da da da, da. Shimmer, Add shimmer and add sparkle, but shimmer would be a baseline note. And animation, try some animation. We always have found now lately that when you start to animate something with the magic performance software, things come up like saying, oh, I wish I had another part in the score that I could drive some visual thing over here to look with. Um, and who knows what other ideas will come out of that. We'd like to acknowledge OK Decay, Petter Store 11, and A Dawson for stopping by. A is becoming a regular. Thank you so much. And um, we look forward to seeing you all in the next stream. Do come back. Do take care. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>